Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing great. This video is a mix of many clips taken here and there to give you glimpses of days in my life here in Kerala. Beginning on a day when we had gone to my in-laws for a stay over. Mom had already soaked two cups white rice in water to prepare an evening snack and this is a very traditional snack named kaltappam. Drain the rice and grind it with cooked rice and water. Alongside fry some chopped coconut cut in small pieces in 2 tablespoons of ghee the exact measurements of cooked rice and water are given in the description box after frying coconut pieces fry some chopped onion to the batter add half teaspoon cardamom powder the fried coconut and onion add hot jaggery syrup and mix well at the same time mix really well to this goes 4 pinches of baking soda then add quarter teaspoon of salt to balance heat a pressure cooker you may heat ghee here i have used coconut oil this amount of batter makes three quantities make sure flame is high and pour some batter then cover make sure you don't put the weight on it wait for the steam to come through and then reduce the flame to low cook for 9 to 10 minutes now this is done use a skewer and see that the skewer is clean let it cool down completely and only then take it out from the pressure cooker and there you have the delicious snack ready to have with a cup of tea this is really soft and very delicious a must try only after it cools down you will be able to cut it well so make sure to do it that way For dinner along with rice and curry made fried egg. Had already shared a simple reel on this on my Instagram. Chopped onion along with chopped green chilies and few chopped curry leaves. Adding salt and mix it vigorously before breaking in eggs. Mix it well and then fry. a comfort food i can have all time rice with dried salty fish pickle papad and fried eggs Mom had already prepared idli batter the day before and the previous day samba is the best the next day Having a slice of the snack and black tea takes me back to my childhood and it's even more satisfying now
that's homemade gunpowder for idli you may add ghee but we love to have it with coconut oil Don't know if I had mentioned this earlier but recently I was facing a lot of hair fall issue and have been looking for a consultation on that and as you all know ayurveda has proved amazing results recently came to know from one of my family members about a hospital santosh ayurvedana specialty hospital had called them up to inquire about the hair fall treatment came to know they specialize in various treatments so I had requested them for a visit to take a video and they happily agreed i'm sure many of you might have heard of santosh brahmi kumari kalpam santosh hair tone these names are very familiar in ayurvedic treatments and it's all made from here they have multiple products with patent manufacturing from their own units and i guess anyone around the world knows well about kerala ayurveda and i know many in my non kerala family friends list who come to kerala for ayurvedic treatments and have undergone treatments with the best results so that's what paid me to take a video on such content which i know will be helpful for many out there i had a talk with the md who is of course an ayurvedic doctor having a chat with him was so informative i literally came to know more about why i'm getting hair fall it's all because of the level of spiciness in my food I know my food intake has gone more on the spicy side. So first things first, I need to keep a balance of whatever I have. Speaking more about the treatments in this hospital, I came to know on some major treatments. They have post delivery treatments, which is something passed on from generations. He so well explained me why recently there are so many changes in women's health post delivery. And it's all because treatments are not carried in the right way and step by step. Another proven treatment here are for the eyes. then for paralysis they have treatments in cosmetology and i gave a try for a facial treatment which was so relaxing this is not just a hospital but also an institute with research and development where you can learn 6 months course to 1 year diploma on nursing panchkarma cosmetology yoga medicine preparation and pharmacy courses they have job assurance after any course which is great There's also 10 days course available for foreigners who are willing to learn about Kerala Ayurveda. They are NABH accredited hospital so you can trust quality healthcare from here. For course offer treatment, they have facilities to accommodate you, AC and non-AC rooms, cottages, Ayurvedic garden where you find medicinal plants and herbs for treatment purposes, canteen facility and many more. This is an overall location for your Ayurvedic solution. I shall provide their website and other details in the description box in case you want to check out yourself. The best part in their treatment package is a boat ride. He is Mr. Krishnan who takes you for an amazing ride at the bird sanctuary nearby the hospital. going through the mangrove forest that's home for variety of birds i had shared a reel on instagram on this few days back i could make a beautiful one just because of the beautiful location have never seen our land that beautiful before so that's all i wanted to share with you all about the ayurvedic treatments you get from this hospital
had to attend a wedding. It's very close to my parents' home. I packed up my bags for a day to stay with my parents. I love attending wedding functions back home. Firstly, you dress up well, then you get really delicious food, and finally you get to meet the whole family. It's a reunion or a family meet at any wedding. I couldn't meet any of my cousins or aunts from my father's side this time, so was just waiting for this day to meet everyone in one go. It was a total fun day with this little one today for me. My husband was away for a day with his friends, so I was with my parents. The next day we went out for lunch then straight went to my mom's sister's house to meet her If you don't know she is also mom of my eldest sister in law I love to be here because there's a lot of greenery around and you hear peacock sound from far Next day we went to Ice Mug as I had to take few clips of dishes prepared there. You must have seen the short video on this. It's a video published just before this. And that's all for some here and there moments in this video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. See you with another one. Until then, take care. Bye bye.